In the last video, we talked about a few examples of liabilities. In this video, we will walk through two specific liabilities which involve more than owing money. Those liabilities are warranty payable and unearned revenue. We'll also get more understanding around debt. First, let's walk through warranty payable. A company that provides customers a warranty would need to estimate the cost of any warranties they might have to honor that year. Let's use Chevy as an example. Each year, Chevy has to estimate the cost of parts and services for any vehicles they have to repair or replace that are under warranty. We call warranties a contingent liability, meaning whether or not we have to pay or incur a cost is contingent or depends on something happening. In the example of a warranty, the something happening is our product breaking. So the company would need to estimate the cost of any warranties they would have to honor. Another common liability is unearned revenue. Let's get a visual for this one. Unearned revenue arises when a customer pays for a good or service in advance. The common example in accounting textbooks is a magazine subscription. So the magazine company would receive the payment for the subscription all in advance, and then they would distribute the magazine over the course of the year, one per month. I don't think many of us get magazines anymore, so I'm gonna use a more relevant business example here. Let's think of the example of car insurance. Most of us pay car insurance six months at a time. Most of your companies pay their various insurances once every six months or even once a year, so you're paying all of that in advance. When we make that one-time annual payment, the insurance company, let's say Geico, then owes us six months of insurance. That word owes tells us there's an obligation there. Since Geico received the cash and has an obligation to provide its customer with a good or service, Geico would need to record a liability called unearned revenue. As each month passes, Geico is then providing a portion of the good or service Therefore, their obligation is being reduced each period. And that liability is actually moving over to revenue. So it's moving from a liability, showing they owe their customer that good or service, and moving it over to revenue, showing they actually provided their customer with that good or service. We will talk about this issue with revenue again when we dive deeper into the income statement and the various accounts. But I wanna briefly share with you the criteria for recognizing revenue. And recognizing revenue just means being able to actually record the revenue. The criteria for recognizing revenue is that you must provide a good or service. So that's why we have an obligation here. We cannot recognize the revenue when we receive the cash in advance of providing a good or service. So we get the cash, but we can't recognize the revenue yet. So we're gonna record a liability temporarily to show that obligation. And then as the good or service is provided, we'll move a portion of that liability out of the liability account and over to revenue. We'll come back to this again when we talk about the income statement, like I said. So hold on to this idea, try to learn it as much as you can, and then we'll readdress it again later. The last liability I want to cover in a little more detail is long-term debt. Debt on the balance sheet is reported as the principal balance or the balance owed. So that's the liability portion, is the principal. Each period, the company will also report interest expense for the amount of interest the company incurred in the period. Interest expense goes on the income statement with all the other expenses, but the balance owed, the principal, is on the balance sheet. It is also important to note that debt is recorded on the balance sheet at present value. We will cover the present value of debt specifically after you complete the finance module. In that module, we'll actually learn how to calculate present value. So after the finance module, I will walk you through how to do what's called an amortization schedule for a loan in Excel. For now, just note the balance owed or principal 
is represented on the balance sheet at present value. The periodic interest incurred goes on the income statement as an expense. This video actually wraps up the liability portion of the accounting module. In the next video, we will review the balance sheet in total. After that, we'll move into the income statement and its associated accounts.